Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss having both the American Express Platinum Card and the American Express Gold Card. For those of you new to the channel, I'm JP Knowledge, and here on this channel, I like to drop the knowledge on you about personal finance, savings, and how to maximize spend. And if something you're interested in, please subscribe down below. So I was recently talking with a buddy of mine, telling him about all the different credit cards that I had, and he was asking if I happened to have any American Express cards. I told him that I have a few different American Express cards, and my favorite ones that I have are both the American Express Gold Card and the American Express Platinum Card. And I was telling him that he should probably actually get both of these cards because I think it would work out great for him and his situation since he likes to travel. But as soon as I told him the annual fees connected with both of these cards, he got scared off immediately and says, I don't want to pay near $1,000 in annual fees for credit cards. But what I was trying to say to him is that if you actually take advantage of all the credits and all the different perks and the benefits of the cards, you can definitely exceed the annual fee and get great value from actually having these cards. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna talk about how awesome it can be to have both the American Express Platinum Card and the American Express Gold Card in your wallet. So let's look at both of these cards. So the first one I'm gonna look at is gonna end up being the American Express Platinum Card. And this card does have a $695 annual fee connected to it, but it's gonna be a lot of perks and benefits you're gonna get with this card that hopefully can outweigh that annual fee. So first thing you actually wanna look at with this card is actually gonna end up being the sign-up bonus. So if you spend $6,000 in the first six months, you're actually gonna get 125,000 membership reward points. This can end up actually being very, very valuable. Usually membership war points, they say you want to get about two cents per point with membership war points. So that means that if you're looking at hitting the sign up bonus, you're going to be getting yourself over $2,000 in value, which can actually end up being worth a lot more than the annual fee. And even if you end up seeing it as just one cent per point, you are still looking at getting $1,250 as compared to the close to $700 annual fee. So even from getting this car for the first year, you still are going to actually have more value than that annual fee that's going to be connected with the card. Now, this card does actually have other options of looks if you want to get it. I've actually seen this one in person where it has all the flowers. I think this one actually looks pretty cool. This one right here um, looks really weird to me. I don't know quite too many people who actually have had that. I've only seen it on video for this one. But I actually just have the classic looking one. I think this one ends up being, at least for me, the cleanest one out there. Now, as a whole, I really don't care that much what the cards look like. But if you are someone who actually does care about the appearance of the card, just know that you do actually have options with that. Now, what you're going to get with this card is you're going to get different perks and benefits are going to what they claim to be valued at over $1,500. Now, let's go over what the different ones are. So you're going to get yourself a $200 hotel credit. This has to be booked through American Express um, Travel and has to be with their fine hotels and resorts or the hotel collection. That's how you're actually going to get it. You're going to get credited $200 back when you end up booking with MX uh, Travel. You're going to get yourself $240 digital entertainment credit. This is $20 that you get each month. It's use it or lose it. And the different um, programs that are connected with this are going to end up being Audible, Disney Plus, ESPN, Hulu, Peacock, The New York Times, Sirius XM. You're going to get a $155 Walmart Plus credit, so this allows you pretty much to have Walmart Plus for free for a year. You're going to get access to the Global Lounge Collection. You're going to get a $200 either Uber Ride or Uber Eats credit. This ends up being a use it or lose it, just like the digital entertainment credit. You're going to get a $200 airline fee credit. You're going to get a $300 Equinox credit. And then you're also going to get a $100 credit towards Saks Fifth. Then you get $50 broken up each half of the year, use it or lose it. $189 credit towards Clear, which allows you to get a free Clear membership. And then you're also going to get yourself gold status in both um, the Hilton program and also the Marriott program. Now, when it comes to earning potential with this card, it's not as strong as many other cards out there when it comes to all the different um, categories for getting multipliers with using this card. But you are going to get 5x back on booking flights. You're also going to get 5x back on prepaid hotels booked on amextravel.com and then 1x back on everything else. Now, as you can see, there is a lot connected to this card. For some people, it may end up seeming overwhelming, but if you actually just pay attention to the credits that you can actually find value for, that you can actually end up seeing what this card can end up being worth for, uh, for you. Now, let's look at the American Express Gold Card. The American Express Gold Card currently right now has a sign-up bonus of 90,000 membership reward points after you're spending $4,000 in the first six months. So this is, I think, an easier when it comes to minimum spend for most people. The $6,000, I think that $1,000 a month, if you are someone who is living on their own, should be able to do this. Now, if you're living either, if you're someone who's a student, or maybe if you happen to not have moved out of your parents' home yet, you might actually not have that much of expenses right now. But $4,000 in six months, I think, is a amount that most people end up hitting. Now, this card does have a $250 annual fee. But what you're going to get for this card is, when it comes to the multipliers, they're actually a lot easier multipliers as compared to the Platinum card. So you're going to get yourself 4x back on restaurants, 4x back on groceries, 
up to $25,000 in the year, 3X back on flights, and you're gonna get 1X back on everything else. So 3X back on flights that book directly with uh, airlines or MX Travel actually isn't gonna be valuable to you since the fact that you end up getting 5X back with American Express Platinum, but the 4X back on restaurants and 4X back on groceries ends up being very, very valuable and great multipliers to have. Now with this card, you're gonna get yourself credits just like the American Express Platinum card. But the difference with these credits, you're gonna get yourself $120 dining credit, and this dining credit is a use it or lose it $10 each month. So you get it towards Grubhub, Cheesecake Factory, Gold Belly, Wine.com, Milk, or Shake Shack. Typically, I just use Grubhub because Grubhub is going to be have a variety of different restaurants you can end up getting it with, and I think that can end up being very easy to actually hit regardless of actually where you end up living. And then the other credit you end up getting is a $10 Uber Cash or Uber Eats credit. So this is just like the American Express Platinum card. It's a little bit less money. So the American Express Platinum card has $15 each month and then $35 in the month of December. This one just has $10 each month. But as you look at both of these credits, you end up seeing you're gonna get yourself $240 in credits from having the American Express Gold Card. So even though it does have a $250 annual fee, if you can actually max up these credits, you can actually effectively make the annual fee down to $10. So now that we did a quick rundown of both the American Express Gold Card and the American Express Platinum Card, let's look at if we can have those credits and benefits exceed the annual fees that are connected with this card. So have it be more than $950 in value. But before I even get into having those credits be worth more than that, let's just let me just show you how valuable the MX membership reward points end up being. So say you happen to rack up the sign-up bonus for both of these cards, you're getting yourself over 200,000 membership reward points. You might wonder, what can I end up doing with those points? Well, say you happen to want to fly over to Europe, what you can do is you can actually transfer over your membership reward points over to a partner such as Virgin Atlantic, and you can actually fly from the East Coast of the US over to Europe for 50,000 miles. Now here are all the different transfer partners that are connected with American Express. As you can see, there are a lot of them. American Express has some great ones when it comes to airlines for sure. And Virgin Atlantic, as I said, is end up being one of the better ones out there. And actually at this moment, there actually is a transfer bonus that is connected with it. So for the month of September, if you happen to transfer over your membership war points, you can actually end up getting, for every 1,000 points you transfer, you actually end up getting 1,300 points. So it ends up being a 30% added bonus to transferring over your membership reward point over to Virgin Atlantic. So that means that if you happen to want to book this flight right here, which is gonna be from Atlanta over to Paris for 50,000 miles and $5.06 in taxes and fees. Now this is going to be a business class flight on Delta One. It's going to be a lay flat seat. It is eight hours and 30 minutes. Now, if you actually were to look at the actual ticket cost of this, it's gonna be something like $3,500 or $4,000 in cost. That makes a cent per point value at about 10 cents per point from doing this. So this ends up being great value, one that a lot of people can take advantage of. So this reason why when I say that membership war points can end up being worth around two cents per point, as you can see right here, this is something that is more, but typically on average, that's what you should end up getting. So now that you can actually see how you can end up redeeming your membership war points for some awesome value, let's actually go over the different credits that are actually connected to them and see if you can make it exceed the $950 that are actually connected with the annual fees of this card. So the first one I'm gonna go over is gonna be the one that's connected with the American Express Gold Card and it's gonna be the dining credit. This is $10 a month, use it or lose it. And as I said earlier in the video, I like to connect it with Grubhub. So I just link my American Express Gold Card to my Grubhub account. And then with that, I get a $10 credit every single month when I actually end up using it for Grubhub. And the reason why I like to connect it with Grubhub is because Grubhub is just connected to so many different restaurants that are near me. And typically, if you are someone who is looking for somewhere to either get delivered for you or just somewhere to actually pick up the food, Grubhub is gonna have a restaurant that you're gonna be able to find. Now, one thing that they actually added this year with Grubhub is that if you actually happen to be an Amazon Prime member, you can actually end up getting Grubhub Plus for free. Now, Grubhub Plus typically costs $10 a month but if you happen to be an Amazon Prime member, you just save yourself $120 right there. What this will end up doing is this will actually allow you to get free delivery. So if you actually want to use Grubhub, you don't feel like picking it up every single time, you can actually have it delivered to your home and not have to worry about the delivery fee. Now you will have to still give a tip to the person, but getting past that delivery fee can save you a lot of money there. So if you use this credit to the fullest, the way I see it is that I'm getting $120 removed from my annual fee. Now the next credit I'm gonna go over is gonna end up being the Uber credit. So it ended up being either with Uber Eats 
or Uber rides. Now, I've actually been using my Uber rides more lately. I've actually found that I've been getting better value from that. Sometimes when you actually do end up looking at the Uber Eats prices, they can't end up jacking them up, especially if you actually try to get your, it delivered to you. So what I end up doing is if I don't actually end up using the Uber rides, I will end up using the Uber Eats and just end up picking it up at the location. But what you're gonna get from both of these cards, you're gonna end up getting yourself $320 in value. So if you are going to use it for Uber rides, you can have throughout the year, this ends up being a use it or lose it per month. So you're gonna get yourself $10 with the American Express Gold Card, $15 with the American Express Platinum Card, and then the month of December, you're gonna get an additional bonus of another $20 on the American Express Platinum Card. So that means you're gonna have $25 each month, and then in the month of December, you're gonna have $45 to use towards Uber or Uber Eats. So if you end up using this one to the max, you just got yourself a $320 credit. If you connect that with the dining credit, you're looking at getting $404 in value from having both of these credits with these cards. The next credit is going to end up being the digital entertainment credit. Now, this is going to be, again, a use it or lose it each month of $20 in value. Usually, what I like to use it up mine on is going to end up being on Audible, but one that I've actually found to be very popular ends up being the Disney Plus credit. So, if you actually end up using this credit for Disney Plus, you end up getting yourself Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus, and it's all going to be for $19.99 each month, which actually ends up just effectively taking out the entire part of the credit. So, if you're someone who actually happens to have Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus, getting the American Express Platinum card and using it towards this, which is effectively make it wipe out the cost of having to pay this each month. Now, if you're someone who's brand new to Disney Plus, what I would recommend doing is if you're gonna sign up for it, to sign up for it through Rakuten. Now, Rakuten, for those of you who don't know, is a shopping portal that's gonna give you cash back additional on top of what you end up getting for your credit card for using their shop portal to buy different items that's connected with the website. Now, currently they actually have $12.50 you'd end up getting for actually signing up through Disney Plus with using Rakuten. This isn't every month, but this is gonna be something you get for the initial sign up. Now, if you decide to with Rakuten, you can actually connect your Amex cards and actually instead of getting cash back turn into being membership reward points. So instead of actually being $10, you're gonna end up getting yourself a thousand membership reward points, which if you've seen from my earlier example in this video, you can actually end up making that be worth more than $10. If you're new to Rakuten, I will have a referral link down below. If you decide to use it, you will get $30 cash back after you end up spending $30 on the site. So it pretty much ends up being a free $30 item. If you do decide to use it, it will hop off the channel and I'd be very thankful for your support. Now, if you end up using the full digital entertainment credit that is connected with the American Express Platinum card, you're going to get yourself $204 in value. Now, the $204, if you add it onto the other credits that we've already talked about, the dining credit along with the Uber credit, you are now looking at getting $680 in value. And as you can see, these credits begin to add up very, very quickly and get very, very close to having uh, wiping out that annual fee. The next credit that we're going to discuss is going to be the American Express Platinum's Airline Incidental Credit. Now this ends up being a $200 credit that you get that is connected with one airline and it's going to be used for incidentals such as using it for checked bags or if you want to get food. So I think that this credit can actually end up being pretty easy to actually end up using and there are actually some tricks out there to use it to get towards like flights and things like that. Now you have to kind of search to see exactly what the rules are depending on which airline you're trying to do it for. But as a whole, I've actually found this credit to actually be quite easy to use. So I think this can end up being a full $200 value in a credit. Now, if you add this $200 to the other $680 of value we already discussed, now we're looking at $880 in credits that we've already gotten that I find to be very, very easy to use with these cards. The last benefit that I'm gonna go over that's going to reduce the annual fee is going to be having lounge access. Now, with the American Express Platinum card, you're going to get access to both the Centurion Lounge and also the Priority Pass Lounges. Now, if you're not familiar with these lounges, these are going to be fancy airline lounges that are going to give you free food, uh, it's going to give you free drinks, and also it's gonna give you a nice, comfortable place to sit. If you happen to be flying out of Charlotte, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, Philadelphia, Phoenix, San Fran, Seattle, I mean, this, these are the places where you actually can access the Centurion Lounge, and if you are a frequent flyer out of these locations, it would actually can make sense to have yourself the American Express Platinum card to take advantage of using these lounges. Now, some people do not like to show up to airports early. I do know that when I fly out of my home airport, typically I show up like maybe 45 minutes before the flight takes off because I have both TSA pre-check and clear and usually I can get through very quickly and I'm very aware of where to go when flying out of my own home airport. But when I actually fly out of other airports outside of LAX, then usually actually I do like to show up early because I do not know where I'm going and I want to make sure that I end up uh, not missing my flight and having lounge access can end up being a great way to be comfortable uh, before the flight ends up taking off. And if you are not connected with any of those airports connected with the Centurion Lounge, 
then there's going to be a priority pass lounge which ends up having over 1300 lounges all over the world so this can end up being a great way to just relax and be prepared for your flight and travel in luxury now if you actually end up looking at what priority pass costs the standards end up being a hundred dollars the standard plus is 299 dollars and the prestige ends up being 429 dollars now depending on how much you actually end up using the lounge access you can see that you're gonna get value of somewhere between a hundred dollars to 429 dollars and you also end up getting the centurion lounge access as well so if you actually end up grabbing this value along with all the other credits that I discussed earlier, you're looking at getting yourself over $950 in value. And what I made sure to do in this video was talk about the easier credits to actually end up using. And there's still way more credits out there, such as actually the hotel credit or as getting yourself the clear credit, the Walmart plus credit. So as you can end up seeing is that these two cards, I think connected can end up giving you a lot, a lot of value. This is the reason why that if you are happen to be a frequent traveler, I think that having both the American Express Platinum card and the American Express Gold card can end up being an awesome duo for your wall. You can end up getting great value for it and redeeming the membership war points for awesome, luxurious trips. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do happen to have any questions, drop them down in the comment section down below. I'll do the best I can to answer them. If you happen to really like this video, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.